Hi, I'm here today with Scott Register, VP Product Management. Welcome, Scott. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, Scott, are there any steps that a company can take to make securing the enterprise any easier? Uh, absolutely. Um, one of the things we find is that th there's, there's plenty of great technology out there. There's tons of, of security tools you can deploy, and some of them are really great at finding like, new attacks and things like that. The big challenge that most enterprises have, though, is, is operational, not you know, technological. So managing all of those things and understanding you know, this sort of flood of alerts and warnings and things like that coming at you, that's really the challenge that, that people have. So one of the biggest steps you can take you know, toward improving your security is really making it easier to deal with things like the flood of SIM alerts and, and, and logs that, that, uh, that you get. And uh, so one of the recent products that Ixia has launched, Threat Armor, is designed to do uh, exactly that. It's really designed to make your security tools and, and teams, you know, your people, much more efficient by giving them less to deal with, by taking a lot of, of the load kind of off of their plate so they can focus on more important things. That's really interesting. Can you help me understand some of the key features of Threat Armor? Threat Armor is an inline security device and it removes known bad sites and any countries that you don't do business with. It just takes all their traffic uh, off of your network so that the only traffic that even comes to your firewall, your IPS, all those things, is traffic from, let's say, legitimate business partners or countries that you do business with. You get an automatic reduction in things like DDoS attacks and malware and phishing because any site that we know is bad, we just automatically eliminate. So you just you don't have to deal with those at all. You never see them on your network. How does making your attack surface smaller? How does making it smaller contribute to the business's bottom line? You know, the average large enterprise spends over 20,000 hours a year in tracking down um, SIM alerts and logs. So with, uh, with Threat Armor, we can realistically get rid of a third of those, uh, those alerts, those messages, because we can just take unwanted countries, known bad sites, off of, uh, off of your network. And so by saving that, you know, let's call it 7,000 hours a year, that's a, that's a huge savings in cost. And one of the nice things is uh, you'll find Threat Armor pays for itself in, uh, in under a month. Scott, that's fascinating, but we both know that threats keep increasing in both volume and intensity. Mm -hmm. How does Threat Armor keep up? We took sort of a two-pronged ap approach. The real kind of massive processing and um, threat analysis engines and things like that are all in the cloud with Threat Armor, right? So we've got a big, uh, the ATI Research Center that does research into new and evolving threats and tracks down phishing sites and new malware and, and things like that. All of that heavy lifting analysis is done in the cloud and the Threat Armor device itself is just doing enforcement. So it's really fast and, uh, and really simple. By having that two-pronged approach, you know, a lightweight, fast enforcement device, and then a cloud-based analysis system, we can keep up with that kind of flood of, uh, of new threats. And Scott, can you give us an example of a company that has benefited by using Threat Armor? Actually, one of our very first uh, customers, a financial agency, they. Um, they had seen an increasing number of threats from certain you know, kind of nation state based attackers and they're trying to find an efficient way to get rid of those and they had tried doing it on their firewall and it just wasn't scaling well to block like the number of IP addresses, like they wanted to get rid of China because they, they didn't you know, do business in China. To block all those IP addresses required a lot of work uh, and a lot of kind of, and it caused a lot of scaling issues on their firewall. So using Threat Armor, they just Click, click a box on the UI and it was uh, done. And they, they saw a significant uh, reduction in their attack volume just from doing that. Hey Scott, that's great insight. Thanks for being here today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me.